You look back on a lifetime and wonder, did I make a difference? Did I leave something of value for those who follow me? I'd like to think that the life I've lived matters, and that whatever my purpose, I fulfilled my part in it. Whatever your legacy, it's yours, it's forever, and it deserves to be honored and remembered at a place as beautiful as this. Rose Hills Memorial Park. written sooner, but I know Ellen has since late to use my right hand. But I'm home now, and and what a thrill to be with Ellen, Terry, and Linda. Bless his heart. <laughs> Dr. Carroll says I can get back to work in a week or so. So there's no need for worry. Everything's okay. I've been very fortunate. I... Oh, that phone. I just know it's Martha, and she talks all day. <laughs> I did something last night that I know will please you because it fits in exactly with your philosophy. Strange, as I write this, I can remember so clearly the first time you ever showed me the importance of keeping my house in order. One day, I remember you were in the library. I must have been about six. The same year you bought the Franklin. Here, here, what's the matter? Here, what? Oh, blow. I lost my doggy. Wait a minute. Now then, you lost what? My doggy that plays music. Oh, the little dog that winds up? Uh-huh. Well, that's a pretty special toy. Maybe we better take a look for him. Now, come on, stop crying. That won't do any good. It's up in the closet here. I remember we looked everywhere. In my closet. In the living room. How about out of the sofa? With a big couch. And in the drawers of mother's desk. But no dog. Dad, I guess I was the saddest kid in the whole wide world. Remember? Mommy and Daddy, all men. And that night was my first lesson in your philosophy. Good night. Say, there's one place we didn't look. I wonder if he could be under your pillow. Daddy, here it is. I found him. I found him. No, son, you didn't find him. I knew where he was all the time. I put him there this morning. But you helped me try and find him. I know. But I was trying to teach you a little lesson. One that I hope you'll remember all your life. You see, I found your dog lying on the driveway. Where you left him when you started to play with your scooter. If I hadn't picked him up, he'd have been run over. But I forgot. Well, but... What if I forgot and left my favorite fishing rod lying in the driveway? That's why I always put it away in the closet when I'm through using it. You see, we have to take care of our things if we don't want something bad to happen to them. We have to, uh, well, we have to keep our house in order. Doesn't Mother keep our house in order? Sure she does. But you and I have houses, too. You know what they are? No. Well, they're the things we own. They're the plans we make, the, the way we live. You and I, everybody has a house of their own. We must keep that house in order. 
Your dog is a part of your house. I'll try and not forget, Daddy. Okay, son. Good night. That was the first time you showed me the importance of keeping my house in order, but not the last. Ellen and I have had a good life. We're more in love now than when we were young. We have a nice home, half paid for, as you know, and many wonderful friends. And most important of all, two wonderful kids for whom I wouldn't trade them on. We've been fortunate. Of course, I've worked hard, and there have been times when I could have wished for some easier way. However, in spite of the lessons of the past, I found I had neglected one very important thing. My plans were not complete, and I almost learned too late. It happened that unforgettable night when I left the office late and headed home. As you know, it wasn't my fault. But suddenly, out of nowhere, I tried to avoid him, but it was too late. Remember? It was 24 hours before they let anyone but Ellen in to see me. How are you feeling today? Fine, Doctor. Bob, this is something I didn't expect to do. What's that? Walk in and tell you that you can go home. I don't know what you mean. You still don't know how close you came. You mean... Exactly. Bob, I've had some rough ones in my time, but you take the cake. According to all the rules we're aware of, you shouldn't be here. Here you are. I'll call Ellen and tell her she can pick you up this afternoon. John, you mean it was that close? That's right, Bob. It was hard to believe Dr. Carroll's words. Suddenly, I realized my family protection plan was not complete. And I remembered what you had told me last year when you were out on your vacation. About a family memorial, remember? All of us went for a Sunday drive. I wanted to show you and Mom some of the highlights of Southern California. Remember? It was a place of breathtaking beauty. A quiet, peaceful landscape. Gently rolling hills, maintained with thoughtful care. Remember the beautiful new mortuary and administration buildings? You remarked at the time that Rose Hills had thought of every last detail to make the time of need for such services as convenient and comforting as possible. The new mortuary and administration buildings were joined by a unique galleria. Tropical planters inside and outside the large slate glass windows created an open outdoor feeling. Living reminders that life is an ever-repeating cycle. That there is no death, only fulfillment. Then we saw mile after mile of beautiful lawns. Here was a memorial for eternity. A magnificent park that spreads its serene beauty across the rolling and everlasting hills. Close and convenient to all cities and towns, yet carefully secluded forever from the hustle and bustle of the city. Here was a place set apart, now and forever. Landscaped with evergreens, graceful palms, magnolias, and high-reaching eucalyptus. Gently sloping lawns with their lovely names. Mountain view, whispering pines, sunset. Cupped in the protecting hills, exquisite little rainbow chapel had a charm all its own. And then there was the magnificent mausoleum recalling the heritage of early California in its substantial construction and quiet charm. Corridors of polished marble reflecting the soft glow of diffused lights. Here too we found the inspiring life eternal stained glass window and the comforting dawn window. In the center court of the mausoleum was a lovely garden and a pond, bright with the movements of many fish. Everything about the park seemed to give one a sense of assurance, a feeling of integrity and continuity, of planning for years without end. Much of the park was still being developed. Right adjacent to the beautiful developed areas was the semi-developed 
before need property that would be completed in a short time with the same care and thought. At the very top of the hill was Sky Church with its indescribable view of the entire San Gabriel Valley and its distinctive glass walls and unique beamed ceiling. Spreading into the valley below to the west were still more acres being developed. In the center of one of the new developments was the artistic Lake of the Roses, covering more than two acres. Constantly the work goes on, a tremendous project, designed for eternal existence. Architects, engineers, designers, executives combine their talents in years ahead planning. And men and machines work constantly to maintain the park's outstanding beauty helping nature to create a masterpiece. Designing, constructing, and carefully maintaining special sections, such as the distinctive Masonic Gardens and the graceful Terrace of Memories, as Rose Hills years ago dedicated a shrine to those who have given their lives for their country. And finally, we came to the jewel of Rose Hills, Hillside Church, scene of both wedding and funeral services a masterpiece of contemporary architecture acclaimed from coast to coast for its color and warmth and reverent atmosphere. Dad, I remember you suggested that Ellen and I establish a family memorial before we needed it. I even made a note to call a Rose Hills counselor the next day. But I guess this is the one thing that most of us, well, put off for one reason or another. And yet it is the one thing that everyone must arrange for sooner or later. So. I realized my house, after all, wasn't in order. My family protection plan was not complete, though you had warned me. If the accident had been fatal, my plan would not have been enough. Ellen would have suffered as a result. Thank God I had another chance. I guess. Okay, honey. Mm, good night, son. Mm, good night, dear. What a thrill it was to be home again. But, Dad, I couldn't put my mind at ease until my plan was complete. The first thing I did was call a Rose Hills counselor to come over that evening. Our future is no further away than the tick of the clock. And yet most of us put off protecting ourselves on the inevitable. We decided to wait no longer. It gives me the shivers when I think how close I came to making my loved ones go through the ordeal of going out and making a selection on the most trying day of their lives. So, Dad, I wanted you to know I took your advice, but not until it was almost too late. I'm sure you'll feel better now that I have. I know I do. Love to you and Mom from all of us. Bob. In the world. Aren't you a little old to be playing with Bobby's old toys? Yeah, that's a pretty important dog. That dog can teach a man a lot. And a boy, too. What's my legacy? My brilliant photos hanging in the County Art Museum? I don't think so. My legacy? It's my daughter Julia and her kids Simon and Brianna. They're my great works of art. Whatever your legacy, it's yours. It's forever. And it deserves to be honored and remembered at a place as beautiful as this. Rose Hills Memorial Park.